Hi, this is Trevor Crow with BizBuzz TV. I'm the licensed marriage and family therapist, and today I'm going to be talking about infidelity. I see this a lot in my practice, and in fact, most couples who come in to see me have some sort of betrayal involved. And betrayal can be emotional betrayal, it doesn't have to be physical, it can be financial. It's a broad spectrum of things. It's when you feel like your spouse doesn't have your best interest at heart. You can't really trust him or her, her. or they went out of the boundary relationship with a couple and had a relationship that was was hurtful to your relationship and it can cause of course a divorce I have also seen it cause positive things in a relationship I've seen couples take that terrible awful experience and use it to turn their relationship around and get much much closer so there's a few steps that have to happen before that can occur so the person who does the cheating has to apologize and apologize in a way that really shows that they understand the depth of the hurt that they created for the person that was hurt. They really have to come to their spouse or partner and say, I know I hurt you and I am so sorry. I see how much you are feeling this pain and I will never do it again. The second piece from that is the spouse, well, the one who was hurt is able to take that in and feel it. That's the felt sense. I've talked about this before. The next piece is the person who did the cheating has to be transparent. Everything that they have, emails, phones, everything has to be open and their partner has to be able to look at any point. This is kind of like a random drug test, but really about cheating. And that partner has to allow trust to be rebuilt and this takes time and it's scary. So oftentimes what happened is I've seen the spouse that was cheated on developed something that's sort of like a post-traumatic stress disorder. The whole feeling of what it was like to hear that information, to be devastated, to be so sad, comes back at the moment's notice. And that person really has no control over that. And paradoxically, this is the sort of odd piece of this, is what the person who was hurt needs the person who did the cheating to come to them, reassure them, say, I hear you, I see the pain you're in, it's okay, I'm here for you, I'm going to make you feel safe, and I'm yours and you're mine, and nobody's gonna come between us. It can happen. I've seen couples come back together and heal and find a way to make each other feel cherished and loved and adored and have a great life together. But it really takes a few steps, including forgiveness, empathy, radical empathy for the other, and really looking at what happened in the past in their relationship that didn't go well and fixing that. So that's my relationship tip for the day. This is Trevor Crow, licensed marriage and family therapist for BizBuzz TV. Don't forget, pre-order my book, Forging Healthy Connections, on Amazon.com.